joke vlog. Well guys, I have a Super Nintendo Classic Mini from Australia and I packed it. I am, I've got games from the Super Nintendo that aren't included on it, the Sega Genesis covered, and a lot of classic arcade games. I want to give you guys some tips on how to have this thing and uh, you know, some things that are maybe good practices. So yeah, you have to download HackG2. This is from this hacker, Cluster M. I think he's from Russia. He found a way to get into all this stuff. That your latest uh, updated version of this available on his GitHub page. It's free. It's easy. You're gonna just simply turn this thing on, dump your kernel, go ahead and load up the custom kernel that you're gonna build with all these different modules that are going to give you custom abilities. You wanna run a Sega Genesis? There's one for that. You wanna run some classic MAME arcade? That's there too. Gotta say that this device is best tailored for things from maybe the 80s to maybe mid 90s. Because I had a lot of trouble with anything from the arcade that involved polygons. Yeah, I load up Sega's Virtua Fighter. The fighters don't load. I load up Namco's Tekken. It's running slow as all shit. You can't actually get this stuff to work, guys. I do want to tell you that there are some games you may have trouble with. And I found a way to remedy this. So, Simpsons. This is like a four player arcade. And if you download the four player version, you're going to have some difficulty choosing a character. You're going to get like locked in at Marge, something like that. Whoever's player one, that's who you have to be. Because the system's looking at you standing at the cabinet. So, what you really have to do here is download a two player version and within that folder include the full four player version. So essentially the two player redirects to the four, giving you the two player's abilities. Thus you can choose Bart, Lisa, Homer, Marge, what have you. Same thing applies to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in Time. Now I found that if you want to run some Neo Geo titles, you're going to have to install the BIOS. I went with the old BIOS for Neo Geo. This gave me the ability to simply upload Metal Slug 1 and 2, along with a few other SNK games without any real issue. And the BIOS kind of impregnates itself automatically into the folders of these games, allowing the system to identify it as a Neo Geo, and thus, there you are, you're playing Metal Slug. Hope you found this helpful. Uh, come back soon-ish. You know, maybe if uh, somebody actually starts subscribing to this channel, I'll be able to get a capture device and start chugging away at some good old games. Like, comment, share, follow, subscribe. Von Jog Vlog is made possible by your support on Patreon. Patreon.com forward slash Vaughn Fry. Because fuck Google.